An experimental COVID drug developed by a Taiwanese firm has been granted emergency use authorization by the country's FDA. According to early phase two results, the drug candidate called Hosina can prevent the development of dangerous inflammatory responses in mild and moderate COVID cases. On Wednesday, the drug developer donated 100 doses of Hosina for use at National Taiwan University Hospital. With COVID on the rampage worldwide, researchers are focused not just on vaccines, but treatments for the disease. Taiwan's Golden Biotechnology Corporation is working on a COVID treatment called Hosina. It's been approved by Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration for compassionate use, and it was donated to National Taiwan University Hospital on Wednesday. More importantly, it is an immune system modulator that can prevent cytokine storms, so it has considerable potential for treating patients with COVID-19. NTU Hospital Superintendent Wu Mingxian personally accepted the donation. Let's break down the COVID therapies available today. Remdesivir and steroids are used on severely ill patients whereas monoclonal antibodies are used on adults age 55 and up to prevent them from developing a severe illness. Hosina is a candidate for treating mild and moderate COVID symptoms. Taiwan has discontinued the use of remdesivir because it hasn't been shown to reduce the mortality rate. As for monoclonal antibodies, the therapy has been used on a total of 64 cases for the prevention of severe illness. Hosina is taken orally instead of by injection, making it easier to administer. We have what is possibly the only drug in the world that treats the inflammatory response of pneumonia induced by the virus. It's been shown that by the time a patient is severely ill, the effect of many drugs is greatly reduced. Therefore, there are a lot of drugs in development that are aimed at controlling symptoms while the patient is still a mild or moderate case. Hosina is undergoing phase two clinical trials in the U.S., Peru and Argentina, where a total of 174 patients are enrolled. Based on early results, it's been authorized for emergency use in Taiwan. When phase two results come out in September, the developer plans to apply for approval from the U.S. FDA in hopes of launching another tool in the arsenal against COVID.